My name is Sarah Gilbert. I am from and grew up in Grand, Iowa. I went to East Marshall High School where I started doing my art career. I was taught by Will Hildebrandt uh, all through my high school career. After high school, I didn't do a whole lot with art. I found <clears throat> a way to get myself to the state of New York and I did some work there. It wasn't very exciting. I went there as kind of a rebellious move to get out of Iowa after high school. I graduated early. My senior year I took all art classes because all my credits were up. Uh, so I got out as soon as I could and survived as long as I could. I was just working random jobs. Uh, most of my free time was working or doing a little bit of artwork. I didn't do a whole lot out there. Then I moved back here and it just all started up again, being surrounded by the, my familiar area and friends and people I knew. When I came back to Iowa, it was uh, 2006, and I started up again with all of my artwork. I started vol volunteering here at the Fisher Community Center, uh, helping out, setting up shows, any extra activities or art holiday art camps, things like that. I had my first solo show here last year. <clears throat> uh, it was called Unframed. It was a good turnout last January. And I've just been here ever since, and this is my second show. I've participated in two other shows. I've taught a watercolor class here at the center to help out the kids. I'll probably be doing quite a bit more. I also volunteer my time at Glenwood. Uh, we do art therapy with the residents. I'm just hoping to keep doing this year after year. I've been doing it for about 20 so far and it's worked out pretty well. Um, my art teacher did a selection of works from the class and actually sent them to the Central Iowa Art Association and I had one piece in particular uh, that went to more than one show and he was extremely happy and proud for me and after that I just took it really seriously I started experimenting with different media you know it really showed me that that's something that I could do and I could keep doing whether I was being paid for it or not. So it's a happy hobby that turned successful. I love working with ink, either with the pen or uh, liquid from a dropper, you know. Uh, watercolor is a close second. But I started with ink doing doodles and fine line work. And I, I, I do a little bit of everything except for maybe photography and oil painting. <laughs> I didn't get too much into those, but I like mixing it up. A lot of them are mixed media, so. I guess just a lot of uh, imagination and dreaming. I listen to a lot of music when I've got downtime. I spend a lot of time with my friends and family and they're all huge supporters and they're just blown away with the things that I've done and I'm just like, it's just, I don't think it's all that great, you know, and but they give me a ton of support. So a lot of my inspiration comes from my family, and my friends. I've got a pretty good crew here at the Art Center. Uh, Keely and Caitlin and Mike, and we're all artists. We all free spirits. We just, we connect and we make it happen. Yes, I would say so. I've got a couple pieces at home that not a lot of people know about um, things that have taken me years to do in some cases and it, that's just something that you don't let go. It's my baby, you know. <laughs> it's yeah. got a lot of time on it. So usually those are my favorites. The ones that have taken me forever and I put a lot of hours and thought, planning, erasing. <laughs> For instance, with one of my larger scale art pieces, I do a lot of fine detail work and I tend to start with pencil. I'm kind of a perfectionist and if it doesn't look right, I'll start completely over. Um, so I usually start out with a basic sketch, usually something either eye-catching 
or off center or maybe in a corner and I will just grow out of one little doodle and I'll pencil draw it as I go and ink it so I don't smudge it and then just keep going until the whole paper is filled. I fill the whole paper. And uh, I recycle a lot of things. Um, I'll reuse paint water. Oh. If I've spilled something on my desk, I'll put paper over it and peel it off and then I have just constant visual inspiration of like a mess that I did, but I'm gonna turn it into something really cool later. So I don't have a lot of accidents. A lot of my cleanup time is making new art. One piece I brought in just tonight um, is over in the corner. It's a, uh, I had spilled red ink all over my desk and it was a mess and you can't wipe it up. It just smears everywhere. So I just started putting paper and paper and paper on it. And it's behind that gentleman there in the red coat. Um, I put a piece of mat board on the puddle and then flipped it over and let it dry. And when it dried and I saw it the next morning, I was like, oh my God, there's a face in it. And I just went from there. Started drawing the face around it and it ended up being like a half face, half tree type picture. I try to use everything that I can. That one I think is pretty cool. I'm kind of attached to that one right now. <laughs> um, but I mean, they're all very close to me. They're all, I want to keep them all, but at the same time I want to share it. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to do both. So I try not to get too attached if I can. And I have a very large collection and I just happened to do a count one day just out of curiosity, how many pieces do I have that are just those colors? And I ended up with over 40 out of my collection from all these years. And some of them are new, some of them are old ones that nobody's seen before. I just thought I could get them all together in one place and here we are. Black and red are my favorite colors. Uh, it tends to get a little dark so I add white. <laughs> but yeah, I do a lot of black and white, black and reds. I enjoy it, and other people seem to enjoy it. I'd like to still be doing this. If I could pull off a show every year, that'd be great. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom otherwise, three kids. But this is, I'm comfortable here. This is what I want to be doing. Putting up shows, doing shows. For the center itself, I'm the one that's in charge of uh, all the auditorium exhibits. So when a new artist comes in, I get the privilege of helping them set it all up. So I get a lot of exposure, a lot of contacts. It's, I really like it here. I volunteer here and uh, you know, any chance I can get to help out in the studio for classes or anything, I'm here. My older sister was into the arts in high school. She grew up and got a career, and I, uh, I just kept doing this. I thought I was good at it at the time, and it kind of proves out to be so. <laughs> I don't mean to be so dark, <laughs> um, but it's kind of cool, so I don't force myself not to do it, make happy pictures and things. Um, one to explain is that large one there, uh, WSZ, Wine Spritzer Zentangle. Uh, it basically started with the red ink whitewashed in the background. And again, I just started in a corner and I filled it all in. And everybody's like, oh, you know, you must have been on something. I'm like, nope, just wine. And it works with the theme. Um, pieces like this, uh, these are recycled pieces, okay. obviously. Uh, I collect odd shaped bottles, I suppose. And I'll either do, well the red one there is I guess kind of a mosaic. It's, I go through magazines and cut out colors 
not like pictures of things, but pages with lots of red on it, things like that. And then I cut them up in squares and I glue them back on there to whatever scene that's a cityscape, obviously. Um, that other one, I put some window screening around it. Uh, chose the four su card suits and then, you know, the line design around it. I've done a couple of bottles. I've, pa I've painted them, I've put, I've glued things on them, just anything I've got. You know, old recycled magazines, old wire, you know. Uh, those are just smaller pieces that I just want to keep protected. Um, mixed media has a tendency to get damaged easy. There's some chalk pieces up there. And... So, yeah, it's just just to keep them safe. But I know a lot of people, you know, mark up their pieces big time and I just don't see it selling at that price. Not They're not all framed, so I don't even consider that kind of thing. Um, so after that, I base it on how much time I put into it, what kind of media it is. You know, paint, paintings are going to be a little higher uh, than sketches and things like that. But usually I can find a medium price in between size and time. Trees. Trees. People love my trees. There's several here tonight. Keep being creative. You know, every day I go to my desk and I just think, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna make today? And there's really not a day that I don't do that. So I pursue it. Sometimes I don't want to. I'll sit there for hours with artist block. But at the end of the day, if I filled a post-it note with a picture, I'm happy. Uh, so you know, just keep doing what you're doing. Art is everywhere. It's everywhere. Peace, love, art.